Nazareth in Pennsylvania, a three-turn, one-mile oval, Mario Andretti's hometown. In 1990, two former Indy 500 winners, Ari Leyendijk and Danny Sullivan, tangled here. The resulting chaos brought in Alan Sir Jr., who was on course for his first IndyCar title. Leyendijk and Sullivan had started well up the field, although neither were likely to win. Unser wanted to stay out of trouble to claim his title, but he was lying in hospital recovering when the news came through that he was the champion, following in the footsteps of his famous father. Unser, totally the innocent party in this racing accident. The important part of the car surrounding the driver, surviving the impact and enabling Unser to take the title in one piece. A fortunate man indeed. Tony Bettenhausen, in his 11th year in IndyCars in 1990, also found himself in difficulties to wrap up a mediocre season. And Mike Greenfield only appeared seven times in IndyCars that year. Nazareth, you could say, was one of the least successful. 1991 and another pileup. This time, though, the leading contenders were not involved. And the green flag comes out. Bobby Rahal comes in to challenge, but he gets forced back as Fittipaldi drops into second place, and we've got trouble. Scott Pruitt gets into the wall, as does Danny Sullivan. There's another car there. Scott Pruitt, the man in trouble first, right down on the bottom of the speedway. Once Pruitt had lost control and cannoned into the wall, Sullivan, Goodyear and Wood were all left with nowhere to hide. A typical accident on an oval. Started in such a small way, built up into a big one. Nineteen ninety-two and forty-six of the two hundred laps were run under caution. Eleven resulting from contact between John Andretti and Dennis Vitolo. Nineteen 